Hi, I'm Zach, co-owner and winemaker here at the Magnetic Kill Winery in Moncton, New Brunswick. Well, our story starts back a long time ago as strawberry farmers trying to survive as strawberry farmers. Because as a farmer, you work all year long and uh, you really only earn money for a few weeks a year. And if it's too hot or too cold or too wet or too dry, your, your income suffers. And for us, all too often, like we'd be working all year long hard to feed other families. And then some years we didn't earn enough ourselves, had to take out a mortgage to then feed ourselves. And it, it just, it didn't seem right in that sense. So the original question we asked ourselves a long time ago was, well, what can we make with this fruit that we grow to have a product that we can sell all year long instead of just these handful of weeks uh, every summer? And, and it just clicked. Well, it's like strawberry wine, it made sense, it sounded cool, and, and we ran with it. So we're one of the oldest wineries in New Brunswick and we're not even 20 years old yet. So it's, it's been a fun, fun development over the last, I mean, handful of years, but you know, 20, 20 some years. With wine, um, there's this concept of kind of what grows together goes together. And so for us, really specifically, what, what, what we love making in New Brunswick are wines that then can feature with the, the produce of the area. Uh, or the you know the the products and the or the regionality of of what we have here, and and if you look around the world, what we have that's pretty unique and special is you know growing grapes next to the ocean and growing grapes next to lobster and scallops and oysters, and and so you know that that to me is kind of one of those 20, 30, 40 year crazy missions and visions and, and things that we value is wine and and seafood. For us, we've always prided ourselves on, on kind of our guest experiences or you know, as a, also as a tourism destination. So we really love the fact that we wear a lot of hats here. So you know, we're, we're farmers, we're, but we're also like the actual, you know, the winemakers, but we're, we're marketers, we're experience makers. Because for us, we've, whether it was you know, someone local from down the road here in Moncton or whether it was a tour bus from a whole bunch of people from around the world, we really wanted to give people a great experience and an introduction to, to what local wine is. Because we do have this pretty big hill to climb here where no one actually thinks and believes that wine can come from New Brunswick yet. You know, for us, we use 100% New, New Brunswick produce. So whether it's us or other local farmers, 100% of our wine is grown within New Brunswick. And when you're trying to make, you know, wines that compete against, you know, whether it's Niagara or Napa or Champagne, you know, these regions have a big head start. And so for us, we, we have, uh, yeah, we, we have that big hill to climb. And one of those ways that we climb it is through giving people great experiences with our wines so it can help change the perception because for us well, we don't really have necessarily a second chance to introduce people to New Brunswick wine because if, if they don't have the, the first you know the best experience or the best taste in that wine then some people are like you know I'm never gonna drink New Brunswick wine again whereas I've drank a lot of bad you know US or French wines before and I've never said I'm never going to drink one of their wines again so that's why with us like you know, that experience component is a really important part of, of what we do here to showcase, you know, our pride in our place and, and what the future of what New Brunswick wines are, are going to become. New Brunswick, we, we do really blessed with a lot of different kind of regionalities with, with what wine, the wine will be. Us specifically, kind of the flag that we've planted on where our future lies is growing grapes by the ocean. Uh, if, you, if you look around the world, there are really only a handful of places that can claim that they grow grapes you know, close to the ocean. A lot of places, they're like, yeah, we have maritime wines, and they're like 50 to 100 kilometers you know, from the ocean. And with us, like, you're standing in these vineyards, and you can see a lobster boat right there. And, and there's just something really special about that. Like, let us know how to help you believe in our vision for, for local wine. Because it is, we, we do understand that wine regions take a long time to develop. Like, whether it was Napa or whether it is Niagara, you know, these regions have gone through that 20, 30, 40 year curve where it took that long for people to believe in the products that they make and the quality that they make and the vision that they have for the region. And I don't, 
I'm trying to accelerate that curve. Like we don't need to wait another 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So how can um, we make people believe in, in local wine faster? Because for us, like I can close my eyes and I can see that future along the Northumberland with 150 wineries there. But that you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 year version of that isn't gonna be possible unless we start drinking more local wine today. AMBL for us has, has obviously been in, uh, instrumental in accessing you know, more and more customers, more clients. You know, we, we went from our original vision here at, the, at Magnetic Hill Winery of being a, you know, a boutique producer, making 5,000 bottles of wine a year that we were going to sell just to more like tourists here on site. And we've gone from, from that, like that as, our, as our goal to now selling in 150 retail locations across New Brunswick, professionalized our business, and now we're up to well over 150,000 bottles of wine that we make a year, and, and now the, the sky's the limit. And so, and, and, and without MB Liquor along the way, uh, who knows where we would be today just selling out of our one retail location. We're, we're really lucky to have a lot of bestsellers uh, so kind of year in year out whether it's our uh, our like so our mystique our cranberry wine our strawberry rhubarb called Evangeline Blanc or our Bay of Fundy blue our blueberry uh, they they they're just they're always like neck and neck every year which is really fun because yeah all of them are just showcasing the best of the different the, of our local fruits and they do have that kind of nice that balance where they're not too sweet they're not too dry and, and they're, they're unique, like the things like wild blueberries. There's just, there's only a few places in the world that grow wild blueberries, for instance. Uh, and then on our grape wine side of things, our best seller is our, yeah, is our OC, the Osceola by the Sea. It is just said that, that flavor profile that we're just, we're checking a lot of boxes for, for a lot of people and, uh, and just, and, and slowly telling that story about growing grapes on the Northumberland uh, more and more we are getting, like we are making believers out of New Brunswickers and it's really fun to see them kind of latch onto that story, start believing and uh, this is one of the wines that's, that's doing it. The future is bright. Um, we really, really love like kind of where we're at uh, and, and the vision that we have for, for our future and the future of uh, New, New Brunswick wine. I know we're going to have an amazing wine region in New Brunswick, you know, 20 years from now. We're going to make amazing traditional method sparkling wines like Champagne. We're going to make beautiful, crisp, aromatic whites um, that are you know, br uh, vibrant, great things with our beaches and wine and our seafoods. Same thing with rosés. Um, and then more surprisingly is uh, we actually even see a future with some crazy big bold reds. Uh, you know, our, our fun little kind of feather in our hat that just, just happened. We won an amazing uh, award with, with this wine. Um, so this is Marquette where we dried the grapes like an Amarone. So it's called Apacimento Method. And so for us, we're inspired or we look for inspirations from around the wine world on how can we bring you know, those ideas and that history and that experience here. And so uh, you know, to make a full bodied red in New Brunswick, there, there are some challenges or limitations because we don't have the crazy six months of hot, dry summer weather like you would have in Australia or California type thing in those typical wine regions. And so we looked to other, other short season wine or other climates and other grapes that have some of our similarities, which are a little higher acid, a little lower tannins in a climate that uh, it's hard to get them perfectly ripe every year. And so we, we looked to Northern Italy and that's, that's, the, the, that's the reason why you know, Amarone exists, is so for that region to be able to mimic some of the other wines from Italy. Well, so we, we took Marquette, experimented, uh, dried some grapes so that we could concentrate the tannins and the sugars and the flavors. And so this is actually a 16% red, made 100% out of New Brunswick grapes, um, that, that is in that apacimento method. So you get like these really beautiful, beautiful like dried stewed fruit flavors and like really cool like herbs and even things like tobacco that you would never really get out of a cooler climate red and we just entered this into the all canadian wine championships and we won double gold so best in class so right now this is literally the best apacimento wine in all of canada 
against you know grapes that are much better known, um, you know have a lot longer history being made, uh, against wineries with much bigger budgets than we do or we have for for making wine. And so yeah, right now we, the, the future is bright. Like we'll even be able to make from said from those sparkling wines all the way up to full-bodied apasimento styles. We've 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 got all the you know the, the kind of the needed ingredients now. Now we need more time, and, and we, need, uh, we need to spread the word that like, that's the journey we're on, get more New Brunswickers to come out, to explore us, to, to experience us, and, and to, to, to believe in us, um, because I so said that is that, that 20, 30, 40 year vision will not happen unless more of us start drinking local wine today. Mm -hmm.